Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial for ethical hacking and penetration testing. We would be doing some practical live examples and live tests in this tutorial and this is where the actual ethical hacking starts and this is, yeah, these are the practical things. So the first thing that you would need would be uh, you need to configure your Windows 7 as well as Kali Linux. I'll just go ahead and open it and make sure that they both have internet access just in case yeah not just, not just in case you would be needing them and make sure that you have configured them uh, as uh, the network as NAT I'll just go ahead and show it to you make sure that you have NAT and not a bridged or host only custom LAN I don't want any of these because you won't be able to connect to internet or even the LAN connection that is there between these two and make sure that even Cal Linux has the same and I just need to go ahead and install the VMware tools over here which I did not so I'll just go ahead and install them first. Okay. I did that in uh, Cal Linux, but over here I forgot. So I'll just go ahead and install. Make sure that you have all of these things ready, updated Cal Linux, and uh, we are Windows 7 uh, version and VMware tools uh, installed in both of them. Typical perfect. I'll just install them. And I'll just stop this. I don't want any irritating messages. And yeah, perfect. So now we would be looking at going ahead and gathering information. Once you have done footprinting and reconnaissance, I believe you must. Uh, so I will uh, assume that you have the IP address by gathering information about a particular host. So what do you need to do once you have an IP address? How to gather information about what operating system it is using and uh, what is the hardware? You can get each and every information just by using a simple application, which is inside uh, the Cal Linux. Uh, uh, it is nmap as well as zenmap and it's not only for uh, uh, Cal Linux or, uh, or Cal Linux or Linux it is available for even for Mac as well as uh, uh, Windows so in case you're using Mac or MacBook Pro or even Windows I'll just show you nmap for Windows it is called as zenmap and for yes perfect so this is the zenmap version which is zenmap is the graphical user interface and nmap is a command line so I will probably use both of them to show you how it exactly works and if you're a beginner being a beginner I suggest you use zenmap because it has a good graphic user interface it does the same thing but nmap is a bit more better because it is much more quicker since it is not a GUI so here you can go ahead and gather information here is the intro, install guide and everything you can go ahead and find over here 6.47 is the latest and here is the install guide it's quite simple for we have it for BSD Solaris, Apple, Windows, Linux, Unix any uh, operating system you name and we have it for everything so I guess that would be it so let's check if my, I have installed perfect and yes so let me just restart it And as you can see that we have the Zenmap version over here. Uh, Cal Linux. Okay. We have Nmap and for Zenmap we have it over here. Already installed. Just let my computer start and I'll go show you as to how we can go ahead and gather information. Okay, perfect. So I'll just go ahead and open my command prompt and assuming that you have already have the IP address, I'll just go ahead and check. Okay, so now I have done a lot of lots of footprinting and I'll assume that you have the IP address of this specific person. That's one nine two one six eight two three six and one three one. And uh, let's check the IP address of our Cal Linux. And it is IP config in uh, your Windows and it's IF config in your Cal Linux or any Linux version you're using. So the IP address is 130 and over here we have 131. So I believe the gateway would be yep, 236.2 is the gateway. It would be the same for this I believe. Let me check. 
yeah it is the same for this so perfect so after I have this I'll just go ahead and check okay right now. Okay, perfect so what I would be doing I, as of now I just have the uh, IP address of my target machine that is Windows 7 but I don't know it's Windows 7 I just have the IP address that's 192.168.236.131 and 131. so what I would be doing I would go over here I'll open my Zen map I'll first go ahead and show you the end map so you can go ahead and you need to go ahead and read all of these things it can give you much better information than I can over here it has the, all the commands that we need to go ahead and use the IL the IR SL to go ahead and list ping scan and if you're not easy for if it is if you're not able to uh, find anything specific over here then it would be better for you to go ahead and use the Zen map version just you open that as well okay so first thing I would like to check is I would want to go ahead and check uh, what is my gateway IP and which all computers are there in this gateway IP so I'll just type route I'll just open a new one and I'll type route route hyphen space hyphen n so uh, these are this is my gateway IP address 192.168.236 and 2 that means that and um, the we have the same uh, for Cal Linux as well as my uh, Windows 7 now it is always the same I just wanted to let you know now I'll just go ahead and type it over here so and just in case if you're doing the man, man in the middle attack and you don't have the IP address so let me show you there is another way to go ahead and gather the IP address uh, if you are have the same gateway then you can just type nmap hyphen s p and 192.168.236.2254 and I'll hit enter and let's check okay sp what is issue the host name let me check okay yeah sorry it should be small s and capital P so what I did over here is that since the IP address will contain a total of 254 characters or 255 I will be using 254 since I don't know how much there a total of computers these are connected I will assume that uh, this is my only operating system and this is not a uh, host operating system this is the main operating system I'm using it on a PC and I have and this whole PC would be my router and this is my another operating system which is on the same uh, gateway so what I would do I will go ahead and scan the gateway right now by typing this command nmap sp and I'll open a new one and I'll show you what the sp command does okay okay perfect and map and uh, KSN we have what SP does is that it gathers all the IP address that we have from between uh, 192.168.2 to 192.168.236.254 uh, so I'll just go ahead and hit enter and let's check perfect so we have all of this information so it's showing that there are a total of four hosts on this and uh, the it will also be showing my own version so let me check which is my own operating system uh, my IP address is 192.168.130 so this means uh, this will be cancelled since since that is the uh, that is my PC. Uh, this one I have one more with the ending with the 254. I will cancel that as well because I won't be using that after that because that is the final one and that is never uh, the IP address. After that we have two things left and as we know that 232 236.2 is my uh, gateway. This is the last one pending which is 0.131 and which is the IP address of my Windows 7 over here as you can see so now I need to go ahead and check uh, if I need to go ahead and attack this specific PC 
I need to go ahead and check what operating system is using, uh, which updates has it installed, whether the service pack 1 or not. And depending upon that, I can go ahead and attack that PC. So yes, that would be it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll be teaching you as to how we can go ahead and attack them and gather much more information related to them.